Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a, I did this video yesterday for a friend of mine, and I had somebody just comment uh, late last night, why not use the rounded corners, and I, I often forget about that, so we're going to do the exact same thing I did, uh, and, and this was a hard one because it, it had to make a boundary, but after you've done that, we're going to go to the outside one inch, and the reason we're going one inch is because there's so many details that if you do like a quarter of an inch, what your end result really wants to be, it's going to go into all these little facets and cracks. So if you do one inch, but I've selected this time rounded corners, I left the old example up and we got these sharp corners. Matter of fact, I think I even fixed that one a little bit. So this took, takes just a second because uh, it's Corel's having to do all this work for you. And hopefully, it'll be done here in just a second. And there it is. And look already, we've got rounded corners. So we're going to move that contour, go up to a range, right contour part, take our contour and just move it out of the way. And look at the difference. But now we went to the inside uh, 0.75. And we're using rounded corners again. And we're going to hit apply. And now we're going to go to range and break contour apart and click on that contour and move it back over. And now we have a lot smoother, uh, true contour of that product. So I thank that viewer for sending that in. Let's just cursor this one over to see the difference. You can see quite a bit of difference. We'll make that one black. And, you know, it's got all these sharp corners and flat lines where the where the red one is so much better. So I thank that viewer for reminding me. I knew that. I just sometimes when you're not when you're just contouring normal stuff, it doesn't come into play. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.